Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming. It's the Walking Dead Comics, issue number 92, Red and Explained, aka Comics with Killshot. We have moved on to a brand new volume, volume 16, A Larger World, and we found out in issue number 91 exactly what that means. Uh, Rick and Carl going back and forth. Carl kind of snapped at Rick a little bit, and then Maggie went out on a, uh, a supply run with Glenn. She found out it's not as dangerous as she initially thought it was going to be, and at the very end, we find out someone is watching the group. I have no idea who it's going to be. I thought it could be a savior, but I've been thinking about it a little bit more. It might be somebody that we've uh, started to know and love. Here we go. Fasten your seatbelts. This is issue number 92, A Larger World. And that, to me, looks like Jesus. So, yes, definitely. No doubt about it. We know him from the TV show. So he is uh, just doing a little checking up, but he does have a pistol. Interesting. I thought Jesus was all about the uh, martial arts there. So let's see what this is all about. Ah! Coral! What happened? I had a bad dream. It's okay. You just startled me there. It was horrible, Dad. There was this boy, and he was younger than me. And I shot him. He was bad. I knew it from just looking at him. But I killed him. Carl's starting to get his memory back. It didn't feel like a dream. I saw his brain parts. It wasn't like in a video game. I'm sorry I was mean to you tonight. I get frustrated sometimes, and I'm just sorry. It's okay. We can talk in the morning if you'd like. Just go back to sleep. Is there any coffee? The guys didn't come back with much of the things that they did find. But they couldn't find any coffee, which sucks. Tell me about it. Carl woke up from a nightmare last night, and I just couldn't get back to sleep. Waking up from a nightmare? Man, wouldn't that be a nice thing for all of us to do? Armory open? Need the heavy stuff for today. Wednesday, right. I unlocked it for you. You guys be careful out there, okay? How many are you taking out? Just Michonne and I. It's been pretty light last couple of weeks. Bet if we're not tripping over each other doing it. I think it'll be faster just the two of us. We'll see how it goes. Brought you something. Thanks. Think I'll need two guns? Going out on our own the first time? I'm not taking any chances. I figure it's our first perimeter check. If it's pretty crowded... We pop back in for Andrea, maybe Holly, Nicholas. Of course. Have a good night last night? Not really. I'm pretty lonely. Holy crap! I was just making conversation. I didn't expect you to be so depressingly honest. No point in lying. Why'd you ask if you don't care? Whoa! I never said I didn't care. Just caught me a little off guard. Fudge! Looks like nothing's gotten through. Don't try to change the freaking subject on me. You're lonely. Want to talk about it? Talk? Sure. I'd love to talk about it. Any excuse to talk, really. I find that I just don't have a lot to say anymore. I used to talk a lot for a living, more or less. I spent so much time alone before I met up with Rick and the others. I just got used to not talking. Not that I didn't talk at all when I was alone. But I'm not getting into that. You know, if you're just lonely, you could get together with Holly and I any time. Open invitation. No way. I haven't done anything like that since college. What is going on, Abe? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I meant for dinner. But, uh, slow down. I was joking. And gross. No one here actually knows me. And whose fault is that? Let's check the alleys first. First one. You or me? Grrr. You. Should keep things quiet until we're sure there's not a swarm of them nearby. Suits me. Chuck. 
Cover me. I'll make this quick. Shoot. What? Flash. Bracka, bracka. You're taking too freaking long. Whoa. Thanks. I never thought I'd get a clear shot getting out of here. Sleeping in abandoned cars, no picnic, but waking up to be surrounded by empties? Eh, that's... Who are you and what are you doing here? Relax. I just want to talk. Without a sword in my face. Crack. Ack. What the fudge? Seriously, dude. Please don't shoot me. I have no idea what might happen to my hand if I were to suddenly die. That causes spasms, right? Honestly, I really just want to talk. The two of you seem pretty hot-headed. Is there someone slightly more calm who I could possibly have a discussion with? Ack! Ram! Ass! Crack! Did I just say ass crack? <laughs> okay, moving on. Don't play with him! Just get out of the way! Crap! Bracka, bracka, bracka! Bracka, bracka! Fudge! Bracka, 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 bracka! You see him? Stay behind me, I'll cover you. You just got the sword, right? Think so. You're quick, I'll give you that, but there's no way you're bulletproof. If you ain't caught one yet, you know it's just a matter of time. So why don't you... Huh? Look out! Crack! Crack! Blam! Crack! Dang it! <sighs> really, I've had just about enough of this. One of us is going to get killed. And as much as I prefer it not be me, I don't want it to be either one of you guys either. So dang it, before this gets ugly, take me to your leader. Just go get Rick. Lock the gate. Who knows how many of them are there? Get everyone armed and ready. We got to prepare for anything. Where are they? Down the alley, right here. <gasps> this is your leader? Looks like he'd weigh a buck thirty soaking wet. You must be one heck of a bad dude to be bossing around Mr. Beefcake here. Let him go. Don't make me ask again. Can do. I just ask that you lower that gun. It's just not safe to keep those things pointed at people. I'm not asking you to get rid of it. I don't want you to feel threatened. I only want to talk. Okay, then. Clink. Hey! Ram! Talk. A conversation. That's all I'm here for. Stand where you are. I can see I don't want you anywhere near me, armed or not. Understood. I think that's enough fighting. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Paul Monroe. But my friends have taken to calling me Jesus. How many friends do you have in your group? I wouldn't consider them all friends, but I come from a large community, almost 200. Where are they? What do you want? We want everything you have. Whatever it is you have to offer, I'm sure we could use it. Man, that doesn't sound right. I'm usually better at this. We don't want to take anything from you. Let me just start over, guys. I didn't mean to pick a fight with you. I started talking and suddenly I had a sword in my face. I have a thing about weapons being pointed at me. I really can't stand it. I'm sure you can understand. I shouldn't have attacked you. I reacted before I really thought about it. Then things just spiraled out of control. My fault. I know. But I tried reasoning with you. I tried to stop it. Is that even remotely close to what happened? He came out of a parked car after I'd taken out a few roamers. He startled me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. My group lives in an area about 20 miles from here, just on the other side of Washington. It's a good community, lots of nice people there. It's a great place to live, but like I say, there's almost 200 people. We're always in need of supplies. We don't have a lot to give, but I promise you, we'll put, a, put up a strong fight to keep you from it. Again, 
We're not looking to take anything. I'd like to establish a trade relationship between your group and mine. I'm sure we have things you could use, and you have things we could use. Like what? Well, for instance, I don't know how you haven't run out of ammo yet, but if you got some kind of hookup, our guns ran dry a long time ago. I carry them around for show. So whatever you could spare would be very valuable to us. What do you have? Well, we've built around a farm, so we're pretty stocked up on various food products. But if you're well stocked, we have clothing, tools, and plenty of other items in the offing. You expect me to believe all your people are interested in is finding new partners to trade with? Well, it's the truth, so yes. And you came all the way here just to let us know about this. Not exactly. I scout for new groups, yes. But I had to make a few supply drops to the other couple communities on the way here. There's a place a few miles west. They said they heard gunfire while scouting near here, but couldn't find you. Did you say two other communities? There's you and two others? Wait a minute. Do you guys think you're the only survivors out here? Boy, your world is certainly about to change. And that is where we leave it, everybody. So, we know Negan is coming soon, but at some point we had to be introduced to Jesus, and here he is. I gotta say... I was looking forward to this. This is one of my favorite issues so far. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments below. This is The Walking Dead Comics, issue number 92, a.k.a. Comics' Kill Shot. I will talk to you all soon. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.